गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू फर्स्ट ईयर इकोनॉमिक्स टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग यूनिट सेवंथ वी कंप्लीटेड द यूनिट सिक्स थियरीज ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन स्टडी टुडे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विथ नेशनल इनकम एनालिसिस वी आर प्योरली एंटर्ड इनटू द माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स टिल नाउ वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ऑफ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स इफ यू रिमेंबर टिल फिफ्थ चैप्टर it is all about individual prices individual demand individual everything individual industry or a firm or a person market demand and individual demand we have seen that supply of commodities everything we have seen individually but from last sixth chapter onwards we were discussing everything in big large quantities If you remember theories of distribution what we have seen personal and functional what is fun functional distribution it is about everything a lot of things personal distribution about one particular person's income that is why the income inequality happens so here you can see when it comes to personal distribution it is micro but when we are talking about functional distribution it is macro but the national income is totally macro it discusses about everything in total big large quantities so here we are entering into a new chapter to learn new things which are going to be very interesting every country calculates its national income for the purpose of what we are lagging or where we are improving how the national income is improving or decreasing in general national income increases but sometimes the ratio of increasing national income is not so perfect and we also have to calculate this in per capita income also you did come across in the 10th class itself total national income divided by the total population of the country that is per capita income so to know the per capita income you should know the national income so national income is a, a measuring rod whether the country is improving its economic condition or else it is decreasing so every country need to understand if national income is not improving then it should understand where what policies how we can change this national income to improve now let us see first what is the definition of national income yeah there are four definitions by alfred marshall kuznet etc etc but i will come to that point later in simple language i like to explain you what is the national income total market value here listen market value of all goods and services produced in a country in a stipulated period of time is called as national income let me repeat again all the market value of goods and services which are produced in a country at a particular period of time or stipulated period of time is called national income now let us see so we are calculating market value point 1 point 2 goods and services point 3 at a particular period of time that period of time is generally one year within a year all goods and services supposed to be multiplied by the market value that is market prices whatever the in total that is going to be called as national income for this it is a it is a long process a very large calculation all the goods and services have to be calculated all the goods with different different quantities and qualities have to be achieved and then they have to be multiplied with market prices take one product like uh, paddy or rice we have plenty types of uh, varieties of rice each variety has to be multiplied by its price and that all have to put together then you have to know different varieties of rices and you should have the quantities 
and you should know the market prices and all quantities multiplied by prices that has to be added then you will get the exact idea of only rice income so how many types of products are there how many types of services are there everything has to be added then we will get the next income it's a very long process and large process okay generally it is done by cso okay now let us come back about determining the factors of national income yeah we will discuss about those definitions later in detail okay but now here we will see what are the determining factors of national income what determines what decides national income whether it increasing or decreasing or being constant everything will be decided by these four factors natural resources quality and quantity of factors of production state of technology and political will and stability these are the four factors which determine the national income so let us study about these factors which determine the national income first one is natural resource natural resources plays a vital role if you don't have the natural resources all other things remaining the same success is going to take more time if all other things remaining same if natural resources are there success is very easy or improving of national income is very easy now here i want to give you some examples of natural resources this we have to see at three levels we should have the adequate natural resources enough natural resources point 1 adequate natural resources and uh, you need to tap them properly tap them means utilize them properly if there are untapped natural resources they are not going to be useful and third point efficient use of natural resources if you don't tap them they are wasted even though you have the natural resources you are not using them they are just like that and what about this third point efficient use of the natural resources if you don't use them efficiently then again they are wasted these natural resources are two types which can you can use only once which you can use again and again you can recycle them like metals you can recycle but some resources you cannot recycle so we are going to discuss about these five types first one inadequate natural resources no country is with full of natural resources whatever that country needs it is not possible every country has to depend on other country for one or other thing like in the corona period you have seen even america a successful economically developed country was depending on india for chloroquine tablets hydroxy chloroquine tablets you have seen that so here no one is individual no country is individual everyone has to depend on another country okay so adequation is not important if you don't have that resource you have to purchase it from other country like in the olden days saudi arabia used to be a poor country because they don't have the water they don't have the fertile soil it is all a desert but one day all of a sudden there was a demand for crude oil which is a lot in the quantities underneath they have the natural resource of crude oil they utilize that crude oil so efficiently now they all are rich countries iran iraq saudi arabia kuwait sharja dubai you know all these countries gulf countries generally they are called as but they are all rich because they have a natural resource but here i want to quote again inadequate resources and adequate natural resources nothing is adequate one day or other day they have to go down for example just now we talked about it some resources can be recycled some resources cannot be recycled crude oil if once you use it you cannot recycle it it is only for one time those are called as perishable resources they just goes away that's all 
So that's why these countries are trying to encourage the tourism in their countries. Or they are trying to maintain this crude oil deposits in proper way. Efficient utilization of those resources. But some countries, even though they don't have natural resources, still they are showing very good progress in the national income. Even they can manage to control the world economy without any natural resources. The best example is Japan. In the Second World War, in 1944, total economy of Japan has gone to negative. Everything has been spoiled. But you know, it is an island country. Three islands put together, it is Japan. Okay. See here, try to understand. They don't have iron ore. They don't have crude oil. They don't have any other resources but still it is the topmost country why because they know how to utilize the resources within the limitations what they did they started importing the resources from other countries like they import the iron ore the best quality iron ore from india and they recycle it and uh, sorry they will uh, manufacture the iron with that they will manufacture the commodities and they sell them in other countries and they will get the profit so not having natural resources is not a reason for economic development but if you have the natural resources you will develop faster like saudi arabia dubai iran iraq muscat etc etc countries so natural resources plays a vital role if everything is equal and you have another advantage of having adequate natural resources certainly that country is going to be a successful one or economically developed country okay determining factors of national income okay now we will see quality and quantity of factors of production here it comes to japanese they have quality as well as quantity of factors of production here quantity now let us see when we say factors of production it is not only natural resources it is included with human resources too now let us see quality yeah if you have the best quality iron ore then you will get best iron you can manufacture best steel see here quality matters what type of natural resource you got that also matters and quantity we are talking about of only minerals let us say land fertile land you know japanese doesn't have that fertile soils like they doesn't have any plains it's only a mountainous and earthquake affected region for, so that they do different type of agriculture they use the sideboards in those sideboards they put the plants and their cultivation is without any soil they do the cultivation without the help of soil whatever the minerals needs for those plants they will mix it in a tub and they put those slides in that one for half an hour to one hour and they put those slides to a side and automatically the plants are going to have enough all minerals what they need and they will grow see how you utilize these natural resources is very important for that you need qualitative human resources and they also depends on quantity here comes Lionel Robbins definition all the economic problems are due to what he says scarcity but here having too much of population is also a problem economic problem that India and China is facing now sometimes quantity becomes an advantage sometimes quantity becomes a disadvantage we said land land quality as well as land quantity you take uh, North America North American continent in that continent particularly USA United States of America they have a lot of land quantity and quality also they have all ores they have all facilities crude oil etc etc so with this we can say America is with quality as well as quantity whereas Japan does not have quality or quantity of land but still they are successful okay let us go to the second part labor us got quantity of land but 
they have a problem with population they want best human resource that's why every year they give visas to all other countries minimum 1 lakh so that they can come into the country and they contribute their services towards the production it is their necessity to give the visas to other countries like chinese bangladeshis pakistanis indians so and so many korea vietnam from every country at least 1 lakh of people every year goes to us because they are not having enough quantity of human resource they can utilize their quality of human resource properly and they can develop their country or develop their economy or national income so americans know that due to the foreigners only their national income is increasing every year if all the foreigners if they push them out then their national income certainly falls and economic development will stagnate and let us see the third one capital india was suffering with capital deficiency when in 1990s so what happened v pv narsimha rao under the administration of financial minister manmohan singh he opened the doors for the capital for the foreigners to come and invest in the country that is fdi foreign direct investments see we are we have the scarcity of capital but we have lot of abundance of human resources so we invited the foreigners to come and invest in the country and they also see in the advantage because we have best qualitative human resource they started utilizing this human resource and they started the production they also profited and we also profited so here quantity and quality of capital is also important fourth but not that we can say it is not important it is very very important okay that is we can see here we can see that fifth one organization this is life blood for any development organization with only education you cannot become an organizer you should have a inventive mind and you should have a vision you should see the things what is happening around you and you should be in a position to take advantage of it and you should be in a position to coordinate all three first factors of production and increase the output then only it is possible to get the success and improve the national income so these four factors of production its quality as well as quantity makes all the differences you know nowadays indians are ruling everywhere as ceos chief executive officers you know microsoft you know plenty of the companies which have been laid by our indians indian ceos what it shows our quality and quantity of human resources is good but they are not properly used or utilized in india that's why they are going outside and there they are using their quality so if everything happens within the india if that quality is used for india if the brain drain is stopped brain drain means the best brain going to us that is getting drained if we stop that automatically national income of our country will increase now we will see the state of technology this is a very important one state of technology what type of technology you are utilizing if you are using obsolete technology old one output will be the same you will use more of inputs and get less of output that is going to cause decreasing of national income that is what i told you in the natural resources that efficient use of the resources efficient use what is the efficient use use less of inputs get more of output the national income increases if you use more of inputs and less of output then national income won't increase instead we are wasting our own natural resources so here comes organizers specialty organizer should have an idea how to utilize different resources in different combinations and get more output and 
export them to the other countries or use them in the country somehow you can increase the national income because i already told you market value of commodities is added to the national income market value so you need to increase the output when the increased output automatically going to support or determine the national income in the state of technology our indians are not lying too back but we have to depend on other countries like maruti suzuki suzuki is a japanese company kawasaki bajaj bajaj is indian kawasaki is again from outside samsung from south korea you can see sony japanese so plenty of companies volkswagen germany so most of the companies which are selling us technology is taking royalty so what type of technology you are using this makes a lot of difference if you use the best technology output will be best if you use obsolete technology inputs are wasted we are using too much of inputs and less of outputs so state of technology also plays a role next we will see political will and stability this is the biggest problem in our india our politicians are not so stable every after 5 years we change the governments in the opposition party they won't cooperate the ruling party in taking best decisions always these politicians are only interested in their own personal profits if our politicians changes or if our politicians were good this would not have taken 70 years to develop our own country in last some years we are changing our political scenario so this political will is also plays a vital role politically the politicians have the will to improve the national income improve the financial condition economic conditions to develop the economy then certainly no one can stop the country that political will be seen in the japan that personal will by the citizens of uh, japan can be seen they developed their country here how the political will supposed to be whenever ruling party takes a decision immediately opposition will goes against that sometimes when they are ruling that opposition party was ruling what they proposed if it is being proposed by other party that opposition party will say no we are not supporting there is no will they always want instability when political will is about the development of the country and stabilize the economy then national income increases so these are some criteria there are some things which makes all the difference now we will see what are the determining factors of national income before that again let me stress on one point what is national income national income is market value of all final goods and services produced in a country in a stipulated period of time is called as national income okay market value always influences the national income sometimes it is proved due to the prices increasing it looks like national income is increasing due to the prices decreasing national income will be looks like decrease that's why we have different different methods to calculate national income we calculate the goods and services with constant prices current prices okay with this we can come to a conclusion whether national income is increasing or decreasing and national income decrease in decreasing depends on another factor that is population if the population increases faster than the national income it looks like national income is decreasing when you see in per capita income we will see all of this so determining factors of national income is included with natural resources quality and quantity of factors of production state of technology and political will and stability it is a very important question in the five marks plenty of times it appeared in the final exams okay tomorrow we will discuss concepts of national income okay today we will complete this lecture here itself okay good day students